basically you're looking for that other 600 in July, what it could be attributed to, is that accurate? Correct. Okay, thanks. Thank you for the question, Nicole. And um, it's a question that we're asking ourselves as well. Uh, because those deaths just occurred in July, it does take several months or, or even longer before we can really analyze what all of the causes of deaths are because many of them do take time to be processed by the medical examiner. That being said, there are a few factors that we think um, are contributing to the increase in the COVID-19 deaths in July 2020 relative to 2019. Number one is obviously an increase in COVID-19 directly related deaths. And I wanna, I wanna reassure everyone that every single person who has COVID-19 listed anywhere on their death certificate is in fact counted. And even if it's not listed on their death certificate, anyone who has a COVID-19 positive test within a certain period of when they died is also counted as a COVID-19 positive death. Lastly, we have a system in Maricopa County where if somebody dies in their residence or at home and we don't know why they died, if there's any suspicion that there was any respiratory illness at all, we actually send someone from the medical examiner out and do a COVID test post-mortem to make sure that they're being included in our death counts. And as far as I know, we're one of the only communities that have such a system in place. So are we capturing every single COVID-related death? Probably not, but I think we're probably doing as well or better than um, most of the rest of the communities. So what about the rest of them? We've had record heat, record temperatures in July, and I can imagine that even getting a mild respiratory illness, uh, if you are experiencing other conditions like homelessness, or and the temperature is exceedingly hot, then that is going to contribute to death. So I do think that the heat was part of it. And then I want to mention that there are a lot of deaths that are indirectly related to COVID-19. People with chronic conditions like diabetes or heart disease may not have been able to seek care from their primary care providers or other providers when the healthcare system shut down initially in the beginning of the pandemic. Or they may have been more hesitant to go into the hospital when they should have because they were either afraid or worried that there wasn't enough space. So we do know that there is a certain number of people that probably died related to COVID-19 but didn't actually have the disease. And that's our best guess at this time. Thank you.